Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Hello and welcome to the Dubik Symposium 2015-16 presented by Tata Docomo Business Services and powered by CNBC TV18. Now on this series, we've traversed the length and breadth of the country to meet industry leaders and discuss the impact of digital disruption in the country. On this episode, we travel to Kolkata and the National Capital Region to get a bird's eye view on the opportunities and challenges of going digital in India. Founding trustee of the Kanodia Foundation and the chairman and managing director of Shrey Infrastructure Finance, Heman Kanodia, kick-started the Kolkata session on a high note with an inspiring keynote address. And then N. Srinath, the managing director of Tata Tele Services Limited, followed up with a presentation on Tata Tele Services' view of digital disruption, a CEO's agenda. Good evening, distinguished guests here, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, you know, many organizations, especially we have seen that what we have tried to do is take the example from our scriptures, where we have Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh. So one, we say, is the creator, preserver and the destroyer. So I won't say it is the destroyer, it is the disruptor. And every organization needs one, because until and unless you disrupt the way that you are thinking and think about new things, the organization would just die. So we are in the financial services and as you would all know that in the financial services business now, people want everything to happen. Even banks have started giving the mobile phones to people, the smartphones, and you can do all your banking operations through that. So the financial services business has totally got digitized. And whoever has not been the, all the financial, even State Bank of India, which is a very large public sector bank, and people thought that they would be the slowest to adopt digitization, but today it has become a necessity. The thinking has got totally transformed from looking at businesses and it is also reducing the cost. So technology and digitization, this is d disrupting the, all the previous business models. So as senior leaders in your organizations, I'm sure that you would like to, this is a challenge which is also facing you and you would be working on to find out what could be the solution. But it's an exciting world that we are in. And it is also reducing the cost of operation substantially and making it very customer friendly. In our country, the way it has been adopted in the rural areas, in the villages, for the poor people, and because the cost of mobile phone, the cost of using the mobile phone had reduced so drastically that people have been able to use it more. It can really change our country. And it will change our country dramatically. It will change our country digitally. So I see that going forward, this disruption is good for the entire world. This disruption is good for India in a big way. So therefore, there is a great opportunity. And I see especially that for companies who are not able to adopt this and for CEOs, for owners, it is critical that we introduce it. I would like to thank all of you for giving this patient hearing. Thank you very much. At Taradokomo, what we've been trying to do is, um, we've been running this uh, Dubik Symposiums now for many, many years, six, seven years. Um, and the thinking behind it is that it's an opportunity for us to identify what we think are important trends in the market um, and, and to bring it to a larger audience across the country, to share it with our customers, to share it with our partners, uh, with the intention of doing two things. One, to raise awareness, um, to raise interest, to raise sensitivities, to raise flags about possible opportunities, disruptions, um, even if I could say dangers to business models that exist today. And second, to use this as a platform to network with people and to get feedback back to us about what we should be doing to better support you in your respective businesses. So thank you very much for being here. Thank you for being a part of this process. 
coming to the uh, specific topic of today i think it's important to also understand why why is digital disruption important and why is it important today as some of us tend to believe it's not the e-commerce industry that is really digital digital goes way way beyond uh, what's happening across e-commerce businesses around the world today the one thing that we have been seeing for i'd like to say 10 years but probably 30 years that i've been working is the only constant thing is change the dependence on communication the dependence on the mobile device is so much and so intrinsic and so embedded in my dna today that i don't see how i'm going to survive things like that have happened across the board across across multiple facets of both an individual's life as well as aspects of our business today so i think it's i think it's important to recognize that this change is both good and bad in the sense that change creates opportunities for companies that are able to see them and are able to react to those opportunities in time but change also disrupts existing business models the single biggest benefit um, in my mind of what comes out of all of the trends that you see on digital is a better understanding and a better engagement with the customer your ability to interact with the customer in real time your ability to respond to the needs of a customer in real time have a direct consequence on your ability to shift the customer from simple satisfaction to total delight we recognize this trend and we recognize that we have a role to play in terms of how we support you as you go forward in this journey as well thank you very much for your time and i hope you have a great evening on the panel at the kolkata symposium were Debussy Sen, IAS Principal Secretary, Urban Development, Government of West Bengal, and CMD Hidco. Swaraj Krishnan, CEO, Magma FinCorp. Kesha Bhajanka, ED Century Ply, and N Srinath, Managing Director, Tata Tele Services Limited. I'd like to start with you, Mr. Sen. Now you are uh, actively, I mean, you are handling the uh, new town Kolkata at Raja Hat that's coming up, uh, and uh, Kolkata has also put in a uh, coming up with a smart city. um just want your thoughts how will smart cities change the landscape of india we are very upbeat i mean the amount of uh, citizen feedback that we have been having mm. for the smart city is quite unbelievable we started this uh, experiment from before the pujas which is a great event for kolkata as yes. we all know and uh, people were just coming in and queuing at the point say we do want a smart city but when you ask them what is a smart city to them mm. you have a stunned silence in the government of west bengal we are planning for what we are calling intelligent cities but i think smart cities have really changed the way people think about development in general and urban development in particular don't go anywhere the panel discussion continues and we get a glimpse of the delhi symposium when we return Mr. Krishna I want to bring you in on this do you think that we are set for some exponential growth now because of uh, digital technology coming into play if you actually go back in time i think uh, adoption of digital technology first happened in the banking and the financial sector today we are in a situation where we can deliver the service at the doorstep mobile technology is available platforms are available uh, today in the bfsi segment we are actually uh, also struggling with uh, what is known as the kyc that i think is the biggest challenge for us apart from that getting the services down uh, i think it's just a question of trying to imagine where you want to be and being there you know keshav you're from a manufacturing business laminate supply how are you using technology to help your business and uh, improve the business model if you look at a manufacturing enterprise the value addition that digitization brings to us is the fact that we can service our customers better rather than selling online or rather than prioritizing selling online it is about the experience the customer undergoes so digitization has helped the customer understand how the product is going to look in their homes just to add on that you uh, we also see uh, customer feedback is faster in coming in yeah yeah sure. and uh, because of that i think the the manner in which you react and the manner in which you change your your thought process and the manner in which you change your business model is also changing very very rapidly so uh, mr sina i want to bring you in on this point because like mr krishnan is also saying and like your presentation also spoke about change is the only cons is the only constant and disruption 
How is that uh, in, in your conversation with your customers? How are you say, seeing this change come about in their conversation, in their outlook towards digital disruption over the last a few years? My need to react to my customer in real time is becoming more and more important. There are so many ways that it's, it's helping us. Um, it's helping us in terms of customer feedback. It's helping us in terms of understanding customer requirement. Um, but I think, I think really uh, the feedback we're getting from customers about how they want to embrace aspects of this technology, how they want to use it more and more in our businesses, we're getting ideas that we would not have thought of on our own. And that's really very, very interesting for us to pursue as service providers because it opens up the market very nicely. Okay, great. Well, that's just about all the time that we have. So, thank you very much, Mr. Srina. Thank you, Mr. Krishnan. Thank you, Mr. Sen. Thank you, Keshav, for being on the panel. Thank you so much for, for joining us. After visiting Bangalore, Pune and Kolkata, we travel to the national capital to meet some more interesting industry stalwarts. Setting the tone of the Delhi Symposium was a man who has decades of experience in the IT and automotive sector. Giving the keynote address was the former president of NASCOM, Sob Mittal, followed by the managing director of Tata Tele Services, N. Srinath. You know, our industry is quite famous and uh, of coming up with new buzzwords and new things that come up. And if you go back, uh, uh, you know, there was dot-com and we had ERP and client-server and, you know, the technology has always been changing. So the questions that come in our mind is, is this yet another new buzzword that we're talking about? And just like we navigated everything in the past, we will navigate this one as well. Why are we calling it disruption? In the past, technology has come and helped, so why do we call it disruption at all? One thought I just want to leave with you that digital is not a thing. Right? It's about what you do and how you change your businesses to be able to leverage the technologies that are there. It's not about adoption. I was in bespoke development before, now I use an ERP. I had a distributed database, can I do centralized? Right? Those were actually shifts from technology perspective, but here it's about a new way of doing things. And I think that is what digital is. One of the biggest changes that is coming from digital, and mark my words on this, is suddenly the consumer is at the center of it. It's not the customer, mind you. It's the consumer who's in the center of it. All of us are, we keep using these words B2B uh, and, and the B2C or b 2 garment. The issue is wherever you are in that value chain, if you were not concerned about your customer's customer, then I think you have a problem. Just a few last comments. Uh, you know, this, this, I actually borrowed this from one of the things I read and I thought this was quite structured. So this gave five steps to digital transformation. And the first one was assess the market. Do you have a smaller, faster competitor who is around the corner disrupting what you're doing? How are you going to interact with customers in the future? Uh, if you did do nothing, what will competitors do? Uh, map the customer's journey, right? Where does he start? Who influences and where does it land up, et cetera, et cetera. But the one that I really want to point out is, and there are many technology people here, that uh, there is need now to have what they call the two-speed organization, right? One, because technology is still embedded, you need security, you need architecture, right? And you need very, very robust stuff because the cyber guys are, right, cyber crimes are going. So you cannot give up and lose it down. So that is a very structured work. And the other one is a faster speed organization. Just in conclusion, you know, this is a big game changer. It's offering new opportunities. For those who were laggards, you can actually go ahead. And for those who were leaders, right, you could be threatened and you have to do something different, leveraging these technologies to remain ahead. So enjoy the evening. I'm sure uh, the panel will give you more inputs. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, CNBC and uh, Tata Docomo, to have organized this. Thank you very much. On the panel at the Delhi Symposium were Varun Sood, CEO, Health for Technologies. Vijay Sethi, CIO, Hero Motor Corp. Abhinav Sinha, COO, Oyo Rooms. And N. Srinath, Managing Director, Tata Tele Services Limited. Mr. Sethi, you know, you and me were talking earlier, and we've spoken about digital this evening and everything technologies. From your experience, what is, you know, how should some a business start those first few steps to start implementing digital in a way that is going to be helpful to their business and not just, you know, follow the herd kind of mentality. Okay. The first step, if I was to look at it from a baby steps perspective, is 
to understand as to why I am going digital. The key thing over there is that I should not be going digital just because my competition is going. Once I am very clear on my objectives, then I move on to my own team. Is my team really capable of doing this? And team is not just the IT team, but the business team, because at the end of the day, the business has to ensure that they absorb what is being done. Once you do that, the third thing to my mind is, don't really jump into this from an entire perspective. Take step by step. Do fast, experiment fast. If you fail, you learn from that and move on. Okay. That's okay. what I That's think. important. Coming up is the captivating conclusion of the Delhi panel discussion and a glimpse at how technology was used to increase crowd interaction at the event. Stay tuned. Uh, Abhinav, I want to get you in on this. So, your company is just about two and a half years old. Mm -hmm. How have you been seeing this, you know, this quick changes that have been coming about and how have you been facing that? At the heart of what we have been doing at OYO is basically a very first principle thinking around how you can disrupt hospitality. Mm. A lot of this thinking has been done and is playing out in other sectors and I would say that, you know, basically instant gratification for consumers is at the heart of it. Mm. So when we, when we think about this, a lot of our thinking goes into what does the consumer really want mm. and how can you basically use digital disruption, use technology to basically do this in as seamless fashion as possible mm. and do this in as instant manner as possible for the consumer. You do not go and build an app just for the sake of it. Mm -hmm. It is always driven by what the consumer wants, what the consumer needs. And that for us at this point of time is all driven by can we deliver instant gratification and the dimensions are just manifold. Okay. Mr. Srinath, I would like to get you in on this point. So, when in your interaction with customers and uh, with your clients, how are you seeing some of the major hurdles that they face? Existing companies want to hang on to the old and also do the new. And that in many cases just does not work. Uh, you have to be willing to walk away, you have to be willing to disaggregate your own channels, you have to be willing to throw away parts of your supply chain if it doesn't do the best for you. And that's really where we find companies can't let go. Ah, okay, that's that's the tough call for them to yeah, take. Yeah. Why don't, so, you know, uh, Abhinav spoke about customer uh, instant gratification to customers. So that's a B2C kind of uh, angle. Let's talk B2B. So, you have a vast experience in the healthcare industry. But what about hospitals using technology internally to make their business models more streamlined, more better? How is technology making an impact there? If you look at healthcare as an industry, there is a, there is a lot of change that is happening and which is being driven more from more awareness of a consumer. The, the delivery side is now getting impacted because of that preformed notions and opinions that people are walking in with when okay. you come to that place. Okay. So, for a hospital or a healthcare provider, it's actually very important now to manage the the, the perception even from a social and consumer standpoint. Mm -hmm. I mean, the primary focus is actually now only on the consumer. Mm -hmm. How do you empower them, enable them, engage them, uh, give them access to information and data anywhere they are? How do you enable, empower, engage customers to actually have access to data or information when they need? And what do they do? And that's actually a primary focus now of healthcare providers. Mm -hmm. You know, on this point... I'll just add yeah. one point to... One of the key things that most of the organizations need to do is when you really go digital, Mm. is also to improve your own back-end processes and the mindset of people who are providing that service. Mm. So I can have an app mm. where people really put in all those things, but if my internal process is still bureaucratic, it will actually be a negative thing from the organization. So organizations also really need to have a full relook of their processes. So it can't just be ki, Are, app to dal liya, lekin kuch ho nahi raha because back-end yeah. support... And it creates a negative thing. So people will actually write on Twitter that uh, though this company is doing all this, mm. but when I write on that, there's no response. That fail fast, fail cheap, yeah. experiment fast, mm -hmm. everyone's an entrepreneur, that's the, the, the actual beauty of this mm -hmm. age we're living in is that I can start a company tomorrow morning and try and do something like me. Yeah. And it doesn't take that much time, it doesn't take that much capital. Gone are the days when you needed a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of people to actually experiment. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you so much for being on the panel. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. audience. Uh, please round of applause for our panel. The use of technology was embraced across all the symposiums to bring about interaction with the guests. A special Do Big Mobile app was created and downloaded by the guests so that they could be a part of the live polling. A set of three questions were asked in Kolkata and Delhi and the answers received across the two cities were noteworthy in their disparity. Let's take a look.
The first question was, for your industry, the impact of digital adoption will be A. Radical B. Moderate C. Minimal D. Can't save In Kolkata and Delhi, the majority voted Radical. The second question was, what is the primary driver for you to adopt digital? A. Operational efficiency B. Customer experience C. Managing workforce D. Can't save in Kolkata, the majority voted operational efficiency, whereas in Delhi, it was customer experience. The third question was, what is the biggest challenge you believe organizations face while going digital? A. Security B. Legacy systems and processes C. Skill sets D. Customer adoption E. Can't say In Kolkata, the majority voted legacy systems and processes, whereas in Delhi, it was security. That's all on this episode of the Dubik Symposium 2015-16 presented by Tata Docomo Business Services and powered by CNBC TV18. But don't miss the next episode when we travel to the final set of cities, Mumbai, Hyderabad and Chennai. Until next time from the entire team, many thanks for watching. Focus. Ideal. Innovate. Enable.